All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Word Swag app, which is available for Android or iOS, to create high quality images for your blog posts. So let's dive in. I'm gonna open up the Word Swag app. This app is all about adding text to images, which seems like a very simple thing, but that's exactly what I appreciate about it, is that it only really does one thing, but it does it really well and does it very simply. When you open up the app, at the bottom, you have the option to take a picture or to select an image from ones that you search for within from within the app. I'm going to actually hit more. And there are some other things that you can check out here. Mostly we're going to ignore those. I'm going to select um, down at the bottom right the icon because I'm going to search for an image. Now again, you can take your own images or you can as you see at the top, you can import an image from your camera roll. I'm just going to search for one here because I'm not really like a picture taker guy. I'm not good at that kind of stuff. So I like how Word Swag gives you a limited number of options for everything. I don't like a bunch of choices for, for images. Uh, honestly, it's not my favorite thing to mess with images for blog posts. So I kind of just want something that's going to look good and be effective and be done with it. So I'm going to type in the word blog because I'm going to search for an image that has to do with blogging, writing, computers, something like that. So let's see what happens whenever I search for blog. Okay, you've got a bunch of different images here. And you know, there's several just kind of in glancing through these that could work. What I look for in an image to use for a blog post is, uh, first of all, something that uh, thematically sort of goes with it. It doesn't have to match it exactly, you know. There's some artistic license there you can have. But uh, probably the most important thing is it has to be sort of uncluttered. Now you can add some effects and things like that, but let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. So the image at the top left of a guy typing on a computer, you could use that one. However, that image is kind of cluttered because you're going to be putting text over it. So um, also you want something that you can put text in the middle of it and it's going to look decent. So when I say high quality or professional quality images for your blog post, I don't necessarily mean something that you're going to see on the cover of Vanity Fair or Vogue. Really what I mean is something that doesn't detract from the quality of your blog posts. At the very least, you want to have something that looks decent and that people don't look at and go, oh, that looks really bad. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's kind of what you're shooting for. So that being said, I'm going to select the top right image, which is, uh, looks like a coffee cup, you know, a journal, a pen, and a phone. Now when you have your image that you want to work with, you've got some options down at the bottom. You've got different, uh, different sizes that you can work with. 9 by 16, 16 by 9, 3 by 4, 4 by 3, square. A Facebook post or a Facebook cover, Twitter, Pinterest, and a LinkedIn post. I always select a LinkedIn post because I like the dimensions of that image. But what I'm going to do is actually blow it up, and I'm just using my fingers here to, you know, you can pinch and squeeze it if you want to. You know how to do that on a phone. And I'm actually going to move the image down because there's going to be text in the middle of this image. Okay, so I like the way that looks. I'm going to hit crop at the bottom. Once you do that, so the background of the image is set. Now, don't worry, if you want to change it, you can hit the, the arrow at the top and it'll take you to the previous screen and you can redo it if you want to. Okay, let's go back here. So you can double tap and it's going to um, give you the opportunity to put text in. So I'm going to double tap that. Up at the top, you see that X, I'm going to hit the X, it's going to take the sort of placeholder text out of there. And I'm going to type in how to create whoops high quality images for your blog posts. So obviously you only want to do this after you've settled on a title for your blog post. Kind of goes with that saying, but still. So that's the text I'm entering in. You can 
Um, over here on the left, you can actually hit you know classics where it's going to bring up uh, kind of random classic sayings, things that are so true, stay hungry. You know these are basically different categories of sayings that you can um, put in there. Also at the bottom, if somebody if it's a quote, you can put um, for instance if I said something, I could type in my name, and it'll add me as sort of the author of that quote. But we're going to go back to custom. Now one more thing I want to mention here before we go to the next thing <coughs> is uh, there on the, the black bar in the middle of the screen, you see where it says auto line breaks off. That means that I'm deciding where the lines are going to break. I can turn that on and then word swag is going to decide where the lines will break. So for instance, uh, let me do this. So if I just type in here, then Word Swag is going to decide where those line breaks are going to be. But I want to decide, whoops, went back too far. I want to decide this, so I'm going to double tap this again. I'm going to hit Auto Line Breaks Off. And I'm going to go back to the way I had it before, how to create high quality images for your blog posts. Okay, so I'm going to save that and close. Now you've got some different options here. On the black bar, sort of at the bottom of the screen, you've got style, color, where you can mess with the color of the text, and then you've got some things where you can mess with the image. Let's think about the style first. You've got uh, different, uh, different fonts here that you can use, different text styles. Now what I always do is I use one called 20,000 Leagues right there. This is the style that I always use. And then you see the numbers at the bottom. When you hit those numbers, it's going to give you kind of different versions of that style. Now what I do is uh, I usually just hit the dice down at the bottom. Okay, so that's perfect actually. And then I'm going to squeeze the image like this because I want it in the middle, sort of like that. Now, actually, I just figured out that I need to go back and readjust this picture. Okay, I messed that up earlier. Okay, I'm going to crop that. All right. So now we're back here. How to create high quality images for your blog posts. That's kind of where I want it centered. Now, what I'm going to do here, and I'll show you a little trick, is I'm going to save this image. So this saved it to my camera roll. Then what I'm going to do is go back on my camera roll, and I'm going to look at this image on my camera roll. Whoops, let me go all photos. Let me go to albums. Okay, here we go. Yes, you're probably wondering why I'm holding up a bottle of, my wife's holding up a bottle of shampoo. That's because I always forget what kind she wants. So she was taking a picture and texting it to me. So the reason I'm looking at this is you notice at the top left, it has the image that I just created, except on an iPhone camera roll, it's going to give you or I'm sorry, in the album view, it's going to give you a square version of that image, which is what I want, because on my blog, it's going to take the image that I put in the post and it's going to create a square version of it. So I'm making sure that this text is centered in the square version, if that makes sense. And it is. So that's all good. So I'm going to go back to the Word Swag app. Then I'm going to hit the back arrow at the top. Now what I'm going to do is go to uh, the image button and the image is already sort of blurred so I'm not going to mess with that too much. I am going to take the brightness down a little bit. Now you can mess with the colors of it. Ooh, I kind of like that. What I try to do is um, I try to just create some contrast 
again, this this photo is not going to win any awards by any stretch of the imagination. But you'll notice that you know there's the text is easy to read here, which is kind of what I'm going for. Um, in fact, I want to take that notebook down just a little bit more here. I'm probably being really picky, but that's okay. Okay. All right. So that's pretty good. And I'm going to take the brightness down a little bit. You can blur it if you want to a little bit more. Actually, I like that because when you blur the background, the text in the foreground is going to stand out a little bit more. So I like that. Um, I'm going to save this. And I've got one more step, which is I'm going to add a logo and a watermark. Now, one thing that you notice here is you can share this immediately to Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and these others. You can email it, text it, or you can re-swag it so you can go back and mess with it some more. Or you can add a logo or watermark, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to hit same image as last time. So this is going to apply, you notice, um, just a watermark here. It's like my blog logo. I'm pinching this, so I'm going to make it smaller. It's going to be down at the corner like that. Now the trick is, if you're going to use a logo on your blog images, it needs to have a transparent background. I've got another video on YouTube that shows you how to create an image with a transparent background. You can search that and look for it. Um, you can change the transparency of it. I just leave mine full force there. I save it. And there you go. That's how you use the word swag app. Now this is saved to my camera roll and I can then email this or actually I use AirDrop between my phone and my Mac and I put this on my computer and that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.